Welcome to episode two of John, Sue, and Michael Rosmer's video Badathon, inspired by Gary Vaynerchuk. So that's interesting how you talk about you know cash flow running out of cash, and that's why most small businesses go out. And to me, isn't that kind of obvious? Like, no kidding, you you run out of cash, you're out of business. That's why the business is in the business of making cash. So my question, Michael, would be. There must be more than just running out of cash, right? Because running out of cash is kind of the end result of a failed business. But what's some advice you can give on to kind of identify typical symptoms or typical behaviors of running out of cash? Because, you know, the simplest way is if your expenses is greater than your revenue, you can run out of cash. But really, you know, especially when you start a new business, sometimes you don't know your revenue. Sometimes you have unexpected expenses, stuff like that. You know, and when you think about it, it's just good budgeting. But, you know, how do you put a practical plan together when you don't know what your revenues are? You know, if if you've never done business, how can you even forecast? You can make up all these numbers. You know, like like buying real estate. Any property will cash flow on the spreadsheet as long as you start adjusting. You know, certain numbers. Oh, I'll increase my down payment. Yeah, put down fifty percent. This is a great investment. Actually, no, that's a crappy investment. A great investment for rentals, properties anyways, is 20% down. If it doesn't cash flow uh, based on 20% down, uh, it's probably not a good investment. But that's not to say that people haven't made money on negative cash flow. They definitely have. But in terms of long-term longevity and not based on pure speculation, um, you buy based on cash flow. And if it doesn't cash flow and 20% down, uh, it's not going to work. So, check out my hair, Michael. It's got gel in it. Amazing, amazing what it does, eh? It tells people I am not without home. So today's topic, I'm the first chapter in The Laws of Success by Napoleon Hill is about introducing the mastermind principle. And really what I want to talk about is how the advice they give you really says, do this and you'll be successful, which kind of uh, subconsciously also implies that don't do the opposite of that because you'll get no benefit of it. It's it's it will make you unsuccessful. So really, the 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 question here, I guess I want to pose is, if that is true, then that really means that you will have no benefit from negative things. That there are no benefit of negative things. But if you look at life, there are lots of benefits to negative things. Like for example, what's the you know benefit of getting, you know doing a bad investment you know like i've invested in real estate um i've lost money you know when i talk to investor clients some people are kind of turned off by the fact that i have lost money but in but here's one thing that real investors know anyone who's lost money knows how to mitigate against those risks for you when you buy uh, investments somebody who's never lost money and has never survived uh through losing money they won't know what to do when shit happens because why because they haven't been through it you know so that's what i'm saying is Books like this are great for 50% of the situations uh, and for the other 50% it's total shit because really what they're saying doesn't apply to the other 50% of life. Which in my opinion, that's a shitty deal. So let's talk about you know some principles they talk about. You know, a, a definite chief aim, self-confidence, the habit of saving, initiative and leadership, imagination, enthusiasm, self-control, the habit of doing more than paid for a pleasantly personality, accurate thinking, concentration, cooperation, profiting by failure, tolerance. Right? So these are all kind of, you know, if you think about it, yeah, you know what? Those are great positive ideas on, on what to do. So I'm going to go through real quick and tell you the negativity of having a, a definite chief aim. So I'm going to give the, pretty much the negative to their positive. When you have a definite chief aim, the negative thing about that is you'll lose some friends. Why? Because they're not on the same boat as you. Oh, having a high self-confidence, negative thing about that. You know, you have women say, oh, I want a man who's so confident. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. That's the good thing of having a, you know, a man with lots of confidence. They're really confident and sure what they do. But you ever had to change the mind of somebody who's really self-confident? It's like a stubborn mule. They're a jackass. They're so difficult to work with. That's the negativity of self-confidence. The habit of saving. You ever meet people who are so cheap that they, they kind of live life like on the penny? Yeah, life would suck, you know. Uh, so that's a negativity, uh, the habit of saving. You're so cheap and you don't get to live life. Initiative and leadership. You know what? It really sucks when you have the pressure of all these people depending on you. That's a, neg that's a negativity of initiative and leadership. Imagination. Here, here's the thing is, 
you know, the infinite possibilities. You know, hear these yogi people talk about infinite possibilities. Makes me sick. You know what? When you have too many possibilities, you can't decide. It's like you get analysis paralysis and you're like, oh my god. And you know, you have all these millions of options or these, you know, crazy ass fears, you know, because of your imagination. Enthusiasm. You ever have those people who are, you're, when you've been so enthusiastic, but it's absolutely draining and it's quite annoying when you have these people who are over hyping things or over excited. It's like, yo, ch take a chill pill, brother. Self control. So here's kind of the thing is, you ever had somebody who's so strong in the mind that they're kind of like a robot, you know, like they can't go out of, you know, a, a different way or the non-conventional way. They're just so focused on how they're doing. The habit of doing more than paid for. You ever heard of, you know, what, what I call the people's bitch? Yeah, those people are the big givers who get used by everybody else and then get mad because when they gave, they didn't get what they expected into return, even though they know, oh yeah, they wouldn't expect anything. So that's the downside of doing more than... Uh, what you pay for pleasing personality there we go again fit you know oh let's be so nice all the time you know it, how we say is when you lie to somebody you're not helping them you're hurting them and you're feeding their illusion so that's not pleasing personality it's not it's not nice to be nice accurate thinking so here's the thing is accurate thinking is basically uh bs because sometimes you think you're right but you're actually wrong and that's kind of where it goes astray is nothing worse than when you think you're right but you're wrong and then you go off on you know uh, a Billy Graham preaching to everybody and you don't realize oh you are the idiot when you think everybody else is the idiot concentration this put this is kind of like the blinders of life you're so focused on things that you miss everything else you know what they always say stop and smell the roses well you can't smell the roses if you're you know so concentrated on the beat not stinging your ass cooperation downside of cooperation is sometimes there's too many chefs in the kitchen and there's nothing more that pisses me off than when I'm cooking my pho and then my mom wants to step in and mess with the recipe. Get out of the kitchen, mom. Sorry to say. Profiting by failure. So here's the thing is, you know what? Losing a shitload of money in real estate sucks because guess what? You got to pay that back. So, you know, profiting by failure, that's the downside of it. Tolerance. It's kind of like this. You can only be nice and tolerant of, you know, people that don't get on board with you for so long so the negative side is it it turns into resentment you know it's kind of like being in, in that marriage that totally sucks so yeah that's my thing is one-sided tricks don't work you know tricks are for kids and 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 it's in my opinion you need actually both to be the good guy and the bad guy and that's kind of real life being the good guy and the bad guy is real life you know listening to these positive inspiring books it's not bullshit. It's only half of the equation. It's apple, no pie. Pie, no apple. But it's not apple pie.